Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the difference between Replit versus Cursor. Replit and Cursor are both popular platforms designed for software development, but they cater to slightly different needs and offer unique features. The overview of Replit is that it is an online integrated development environment and platform for collaborative coding. It allows users to code, build, and deploy applications directly from a web browser. Some key features of Replit is that it supports numerous programming languages like Python, JavaScript, Ruby, Java, C++, and more. You can share your workspace with others and code collaboratively in real time, which is useful for team projects and learning environments. Replit offers a feature called Replit Deploy to instantly deploy and host web applications. All coding and project storage happen in the cloud, meaning you don't need any setup on your local machine. Replit integrates AI-assisted coding tools like Goose Writer, which provides AI-powered code suggestions and completions. And it provides as integrated database Replit DB for easy storage within your project. Replit is a full IDE with coding, deployment, and version control integrated. Real-time collaboration makes it perfect for peer programming, teaching, or group projects. It is great for learning and experimenting with many different programming languages. You don't need to install anything locally which makes it easy to get started anywhere. Pricing plan of Replit is free hacker plan and teams for education in free limited features with a restricted number of private projects and hacker plan is of $7 per month, more storage, faster performance, private reps and access to premium features like increased CPU and memory. And Teams for Education is of $100 per year for teachers, including collaboration tools and classroom features. While the overview of Cursor is that it is an AI-driven IDE focused on improving coding workflows, it offers a highly intuitive interface with built-in AI features that support code completion, debugging, and auto-generation of code. Key features of Cursor is that it is heavily integrates AI tools like GPT-3 or similar models for auto-completion, bug fixing, and code generation. It offers a highly customizable interface that adjusts to your workflow. Cursor has powerful search capabilities for quickly navigating large code bases. And the platform provides advanced error detection, warnings, and debugging features to assist you in quickly finding and solving issues. It offers markdown support for documentation directly in the workspace. Cursor focuses on boosting developer productivity by providing smart suggestions, auto-completing code snippets, and streamlining the coding process. Cursor's AI integration enhances the coding process by providing smarter suggestions, bug fixes, and writing assistance. Cursor's autocomplete system is much more advanced compared to traditional IDEs, making it easier to code faster. As a feature-rich IDE with AI integration, it may be resource-intensive, which could be a problem for older systems. Cursor is relatively new compared to other established IDEs, so it may have some bugs or limitations that are yet to be ironed out. Pricing plan for Cursor is free and pro version. Free offers to most of the basic features but with some limits on the advanced features and AI assistance. While pro version is paid plans provide more advanced features including access to premium AI tools, better code completions, and performance boosts. So basically this is the difference between Replit versus Cursor. If you found this video helpful then leave a like on video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.